Hi VC, it's Aaron, Nitha Alamere. Today I've got a very special unboxing and some new vinyl finds I've, I've gotten the last few weeks or so. Not too many records this time, but the box set I got is really cool. And it was brought to my attention originally from Darcy, a Darcy Six Strings, Nine Lives, great channel, uh, Darcy up in Canada, one of the great members of the VC. And he instant mess messaged me and showed it to me. He's like, oh wow, that's so cool, but I didn't think I'd be able to get it because it was just kind of expensive. And then, you know, a couple of my other friends were, you know, showing me uh, online pictures of it. And, and then I was like, you know, a few days ago, it was about to come out. And I, I told my wife, you know, that'd be really cool if I got it and everything. The next day, it came in the mail. So she'd already bought it for me, <laughs> which is so cool. Because I was afraid to ask her for that much money to get this. But it's really awesome. And this is the box set, 7-inch box set of this album up here, which is Sunrise on Slaughter Beach, the, the most recent Clutch album. Uh, one of my favorite Clutch albums. It's my favorite album that's been released in the 2020s easily. So awesome. I love the record. And this has three bonus songs on it. And uh, let's open it up and see what it looks like. I, I've been waiting to open it on camera here. And so let's see here. And then I will show you my couple vinyl finds. There's only about, it's very small stack compared to what I, what I usually have. But, okay, I got the plastic off. There was no hype stickers, so I don't need to keep it. Very nice looking box. This is pretty hefty, pretty pretty weighty. There's the, uh, that's what it looks like. And there's the back. And now I'll open it up. And first thing in there is a 45 slip mat for 45s really cool I, I don't have a slip mat for 45 so that'll be awesome for when i play this really cool looking too i love that typical clutch fashion really cool <laughs> and then we got okay so inside I'll, I'll take the records out first and inside there was a couple of these uh, just as some you know extra spacing so first off we got the booklet Oh, here we go, Sunrise on Slaughter Beach. And let's take a look here. All the lyrics. We strive for excellence, what a great song. Every one of these is a great song. Okay, Jeff Cameron, name Boogie. Okay, it's even got the lyrics for the bonus songs. That's awesome, that is so cool. And credits, and uh, so cool. There's the booklet. And the first disc, Red Alert, Boss Metal Zone, and Slaughter Beach. And then they are, oh, that's nice. They're all in individual sleeves inside there. And this is what they look like. Very cool. And so I'll just show, I won't pull them all out after this one. Well, I guess I will. <laughs> There's number one, number two, and they're all different pictures. That's really cool. This too is Mountain of Bone, one of my all-time favorite clutch songs. Love that. And Nosferatu Madre, another awesome song. So killer. And here's what they look like. They all look very similar. Labels, custom labels, you know, but very cool. Disc three, Mercy Brown. That song's so good. And We Strive for Excellence, my buddy JC's favorite on here. Awesome. So cool. And there's the labels. Yeah, they did a great job on this. I can't wait to spin this. I'm spinning this right when I'm done here. Disc four, Skeletons on Mars and Three Golden Horns. Three Golden Horns, oh my God, that song. That just kills me every time. I love the lyrics. There we go. And then the fifth disc is Jack Hammer Our Names. It's the last song on the vinyl. And then Boogeyman Blues, the first new track. Boogeyman Blues. So this is very cool. I get to hear three clutch songs I've never heard today. So I don't stream stuff, so uh, I wait until I get it in physical format to listen to it. And then the last disc, disc six. It's got Arts and Crafts and Railroad Daisies. Very clutch sounding titles there, I'll tell you. <laughs> I love it. And here's the inner. So that's that's so cool. I'm so happy Clutch did this, put out some bonus material, and this is an awesome box set. I can't wait to listen to it. You know, I'm not a big 45 collector, but when it's something like this, I will get it. 
That's just so cool. So there we go, clutch. So now for my uh, my new finds. First off, I picked up the new Ghost, uh, Phantomime, and it's all cover songs. Actually, this is really good. I listened to it the other day. I actually really dig this. I'm a, I, I'm a Ghost fan, but they're, they're not one of my favorites, but I do like them a lot. And I have, I think everything but their debut on vinyl. There's the uh, custom labels there. And they do a really cool version of um, Phantom of the Opera from Iron Maiden on here. Here's the inner sleeve. And that, uh, the um, We Don't Need Another Hero, the Tina Turner song, is really cool on here, I really love that. And then they do um, a, a few others too. See No Evil, Jesus He Knows Me, and Hanging Around, which are by, I don't, I don't know those songs as well as the others. Let's see, it probably says right on here, but I can't read it. <laughs> <laughs> my eyes are too bad i gotta focus on it so there we go there's a ghost record pretty cool like i said i already listened to it it sounds awesome and then i picked up this uh this blues record and this is i, I think it's first or second album he did but it's a repress i think it's a uh you know unofficial repress but it sounds killer i'm john lee hooker this album is so good this might be my favorite john lee hooker album now that i got this one you know, I got a few others I really love by him, but this is just so good. There's the labels. It's on like 180 grams, so you can tell it's a repress. Probably, like I said, probably a unofficial release, but I'm not sure. Up next, this one here is Evisceration Plague. And this is a, a um, picture disc from Cannibal Corpse. I've never heard Cannibal Corpse really. So I'm, I've got a few picture discs down at my local store I'm going to be picking up. He's selling them for very cheap to me, so that's really cool. There's the cover, there's the disc. So I'll be spinning some death metal here. And, you know, that's one of the bands I just have never really listened to, Cannibal Corpse. But the, the cover, the, <laughs> the picture of this looks so awesome. And here's the uh, actual sleeve it comes in. I hate these things. So I'm glad it's in an inner sleeve, too. That's how it came. So that one's very cool. And then some more heavy stuff here. <laughs> Got some Ammon and Marth with the Avenger. Never heard this, but they had it down there. And it's a uh, Metal Blade 40th Anniversary repress. So all the Metal Blade records sound so good. They do a great job on these reissues. I'm, so, I'm happy to get this one. And I just cracked it open. Let's see what it looks like. We've got the lyric sheet. And then I love how... Metal Blade does this right, I'm telling you. Every time I get one on these polyline sleeves, love the polyline sleeves, black wax, and they usually always have a poster, and it does. And then the poster. Pretty big poster. There we go. And then on the back is the band. So that's pretty cool. I'm really getting into that band. And then up next are my two favorite ones I got, other than the clutch. Well, there's three more. Never mind. Well, they're all three pretty cool. <laughs> I'll save that one for last. That's my favorite. Up next, I got, this is an unofficial release of Black Metal from Venom. Going pretty heavy today. <laughs> so I've never actually owned this one. Been looking for it for a long time. You can tell it's unofficial. Usually that's a lot lighter color and the red's a lot more red. And uh, this is on colored vinyl. Pretty cool, uh, kind of an odd color here. Kind of a muted red splatter, I guess you'd call it. And then this one here, my uh, local shop got it and he had no idea what it was. It was, just, it's just, uh, this is what it came as. So it's not the white album from the Beatles, it's a double record. I'll show you what they look like. Both albums look the same. So how do you tell what side's what? I, I, marked, I marked it so I could tell. <laughs> I went through and listened to it. This sounds so good. And it's a really good recording. And what it is, it's the album. Let's see if I can find it. It's written on the, my, there it is, okay. This is the Henry Rollins, Mr. Personality, live, double live record. And wow, it sounds so good. I listened to it and it just blows out of the stereo. Amazing sounding. So that's Mr. Personality from, from the Rollins band. And then my favorite one I got, I'm still looking for an official release of this. They're so hard to get, but I, I got an unofficial release today 
Mother Love Bone. It's not even in Discog, so I can't tell exactly what the issue is, but it sounds really good. I have another unofficial one that's on like white marbled vinyl. That doesn't sound very good at all. This one sounds much better, so I was very excited to get it. Of course, one of my favorite albums of all time, and here's what the vinyl looks like. I still need a, you know, an official press of this. It's one of my all-time favorite records, but, you know, good luck finding one of those. You can stumble upon them, but it's it's hard. So, all right, everyone, this has been cool. I was just so excited. Uh, you know, I've, I've got a really cool wife that uh, she ordered this before I even knew about it. <laughs> so, thank you so much. Awesome. I can't wait to spin this. Clutch, my favorite band. Everyone have a great day. I will see you next time.